Good evening. A homeowner in Algiers is frustrated by a pipe leak that's left him on a virtual island, flooding the land all around his home. He says he called the sewage and water board all week, asking them to fix it, but nothing has been done. Sala Kim is on your side with the story. It's all new for you at six. Come on. Imagine coming home to this. You have to slosh and splash just to get in and out of Paul Hardiman's house. We take our shoes off on the porch, roll our pants up, run across or ski across. Well, you can see the hole now. Hardiman points to the leaking pipe under all this shrubbery, saying it belongs to the city. It's a big time waste of water. Like I was telling my friends last night, and they're like, You sure it's not yours? I'm like, I'm positive it's not mine. And he asked me, he says, Who's paying the water bill? I said, Everybody lives in Orleans Parish. He called the sewerage and water board several times since Tuesday, but the water is still spouting. And they said they had somebody come out and looked at it and they assessed it, and somebody would be out. They put a work order in for it. The water has been gushing since late Saturday night into early Sunday morning, saturating the land all around Hardiman's house. But now the situation is so bad, as you can see here, it's starting to create a small pond in front of his neighbor's house. The Sewerage and Water Board's Director of Community and Intergovernmental Relations, Robert Jackson, declined an on camera interview. But over the phone, he told me there is a level of priority when it comes to leaks, saying, quote, unless it was an emergency, if it was a leak not creating an immediate problem, it could take more than two days, unquote. I understand that the pipes burst, but look at my yard. Come on, it's been a week. While he waits, Hardiman and his dogs now have to wait in water, constantly drying off before entering the house, his home of comfort quickly cascading into a soggy inconvenience. On your side, Sala Kim, WDSU News. Robert Jackson did tell Sala the pipe was scheduled to be fixed today, but they ran out of time, so they'll try to get to it first thing next week. And we should note a recent increase in customer rates will help pay for the replacement of hundreds of miles of old and decaying water lines, a move many believe to be long overdue.